It is super easy to throw around the phrase, he's one of a kind, or to say that someone marches to the beat of their own drummer. But in the case of Mike Leach, there aren't enough phrases or cliches or even words in the dictionary to accurately describe the man of whom they didn't merely break the mold. There's no way anything as rigid as a mold could have been used to create him in the first place. Every single day of Michael Charles Leach's 61-year life was an exercise in non-conventional thought. Raised in the Rockies, he wanted to play football for BYU, but an ankle injury forced him off the field and into the film room, where he watched Lavelle Edwards and his staff concoct the Cougars' legendary high-flying pass-happy playbook. Leach took those schemes and worked them over, all while working on a master's in coaching and a law degree. A tiny Iowa Wesleyan, he mind melded with head coach Hal Mummy to create what we now know as the air raid offense. He passed his way to Valdosta State, to Kentucky. Today we're going to talk about some of the drills and techniques we use. Oklahoma, Texas Tech. Deep strike, got the big man, touchdown, Raiders. Washington State, and finally, Starkville, Mississippi. His goal on the field was always to create open spaces and find ways to fill those gaps with footballs. His goal off the field was to fill every empty space of his mind and calendar with knowledge. He studied the war tactics of Geronimo. He learned the reasoning behind the strategies of world explorers, and of course, pirates. A lot of that he applied to football. All of that he applied to seemingly every conversation or press conference that he participated in. We've found bones of dinosaurs and everything else, but we haven't found bones that I've heard of, of Bigfoot. Oh, I've never liked candy. I think it's just awful. Going low. Trust me on that. Mike Leach was not without detractors. He certainly was not without his controversies. But he also was a man without peer. Even as his seemingly endless coaching tree continues to take roots throughout the game. Three of the five Heisman Trophy finalists in 2022 were coached by Leach Disciples. Unique, nonconformist, idiosyncratic, no matter how many adjectives we find, chances are Mike Leach already knew more of them than even the thesaurus. One of a kind, one of singular mind, who leaves us now with one singular truth, that the college football world and the world in general will be a less interesting place without Mike Leach in it.